Hello, my friends. Happy Saturday to you. Thank you so much for joining us. I hope you enjoyed Sheldon's video prior to mine. I believe he was doing a Dutch pour and he got some incredible cells. I am definitely going to have to try that one of these days. So, so impressive. If you missed his video, please go back and make sure you catch it. Sheldon is a wonderful teacher. You always learn something from his analytical scientific mind. And uh, I just want to make sure that you go back and, and catch what he had to offer today. So those of you that have been watching me for a while, you know I'm not an average pourer. I do strange, weird, crazy things that come into my mind. And this piece is a prime example of that. Now the consistency on this piece is really thick. And because it's so thick, it allows you to pour very deliberately. Um, that's why I'm going so slow. I'm pouring actually pretty slow, it feels to me like. But I just started going in circles. I started out as a ring pour, as you saw. And I started going in swirly circles, not really thinking about it, just kind of going with the paint. And I continue this motion uh, throughout the pour until I get to the end and I'll go back to the center. I had no idea how it would turn out, how it would look, but because of that consistency and a couple of other pieces that I've practiced on, I figured once I started tilting and stretching this thing out, it would turn out kind of cool. And I thought it did. I will leave that judgment up to you. The colors obviously are all pigments. I have been playing with my pigments a lot. I don't see as many videos as I would like to out there of people just using pigments. There's a lot where they incorporate them into a regular pour with regular tube paints. But I really like playing with pigments. And like I said, this was just an example of me playing, experimenting, pouring this thing took a little bit of time, as you can see. So bear with me, sit back and enjoy. Oh, and interestingly enough, not your average pouring is what I'll be teaching in my class at the Fluid Art Experience in Seattle in April. I wonder what strange and unique pieces we can come up with. Now here I am just laying down a little bit extra of my base coat. It is Artist Loft Soft Body in White and it is also a very thick consistency. Now playing with my pigments, what I have learned is that having that thick base underneath kind of serves like a pillow in the bloom technique. It really helps to gently stretch out that paint so that you're able to keep your color and your composition. Thank you. 
hey, if you didn't know, Color Art is having a sale right now. You can save up to 35% off. They have so many colors and products to choose from. Check out their website. Be sure to use my code, BrickClayton322, to get that discount. And here are the dried results. I am over the moon happy with this piece. You can see the lacing that was created by that satin enamel mix in certain areas. It just really topped off the depth and the 3D effect of this piece. There's so much interest that catches the eye the uh, colors just really really blended well together very complimentary and like i said i am just over the moon happy with this piece there is tons of sparkle from my color art pigments in this piece just absolutely gorgeous Don't forget to join my friend Cy Frost with Frosty Eye Candy on Sundays at 3 p.m. Central, 4 Eastern for his Joy of Pouring show. Thank you so much for being here. Have a great weekend and we'll see you soon.